Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm putting a call out to all my prayer warriors for Darby Dupree. All right, I'm just going to read the comment so I don't, you know, add or take away. She said, this is off topic, but I need prayer warriors, and I hope you will call on your prayer warriors. My friend's daughter was killed in Detroit about a month ago. Someone heard gunshots and saw a lady being shoved in a car. It's a bad neighborhood and no one will give any information. Terry needs her daughter's body to lay her to rest. She's about to have a nervous breakdown. Would you please contact your prayer warriors for them to pray? Ask God to send officers to Krista's body, please. Oh, so they do we know for sure she is dead? I pray, Heavenly Father, that that you would allow. Her body to be found if she has been killed or if she is alive and being held. Please let them find her Lord. You know, she says, thank you and your friends in advance for your prayers. All right. This Detroit was being known as an area where a lot of women were being kidnapped and sold into sex slavery. She may not be dead unless they have clothing and blood on it and stuff like that, but when Joseph got sold into slavery, his brothers did the same thing. They killed an animal and put blood on the coat convinced the father that he was dead and they may do that so people will stop you know looking for her as alive I pray that she's alive and that she's if she has been sold into this terrible sex trafficking it's just horrible what they're doing, the way they're kidnapping women right out of parking lots as they're about to get in their car. And we don't, it doesn't sound like you really know if she's even dead, but you said she was killed. Well, either way, our father knows. And we can ask, yes, Lord, send officers to find the body. Let them care enough to make a case out of it. I know how the TV programs make it look when they're in an area that's not rich people. The opposite of the rich people. They're on the other side of the tracks. And so many of them. But... Krista is somebody's daughter, Lord, and we know you loved her more than her own mother did. And and her mother is needing her body to put her to rest. But I pray for her mother. I pray, what's her name? Terry? I pray for Terry also. If her daughter is dead, wherever she is, that's it. We can't pray her out of hell. We can't pray that she's in heaven. We can hope. But Terry is still alive and has a chance to still make it to heaven.
So let us all pray for Terry. That she would not have a nervous breakdown. That she would meet the Lord if she hasn't already. And if she has, that she will remember that everything works out for the good to those who love the Lord. For we know that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord and are called according to His purpose. In Jesus' name I pray that prayer. I pray for Terry and that they find Krista's body. Y'all please be in prayer about that. Thank you very much for your prayers. Jesus bless you. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection, myself, my computer, each and every one of you, your devices, and your internet connections. May we stay connected until we're out of here. And I'll be praying about switching to Brighteon. It is free. It is free. It may be Patreon I was thinking about. I've been on there too. It's just a little difficult, but you can sign up, get an account, and some people don't even know how to handle YouTube. Once you do it a few times, it's easy. So, I'll ask the Lord about it. What does He want? I just don't think it'll happen before the Antichrist takes over. That's just my honest opinion. God bless each and every one of you. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.